Good evening everyone. It is a madhouse today at my, oh I like my makeup today. I've been shooting content all day. Let me get this light on. Literally shooting content all day. Also just wanted to say, because obviously I couldn't tell you last night because I tried anything on. I tried on the Reese stuff. I think all of it's going back. Really, really, really not impressed with the sizing. Nothing nothing fitted me so that's all going back the jumper dresses were so unflattering i can't believe that my h&m one is like the most i'm trying to find more because i love wearing that h&m one i feel so like nice in it and comfortable and i get to wear tights i'm getting ready to go to my second reflexology appointment i had one last week i'm having one today i think i'm going to go and speak to her today about my issues that i have around my period and the like anxiety that I experience. So I'm gonna to speak to her about that. I'm gonna put some comfy clothes on because I usually fall asleep. And Ali has been vlogging all day. He's like, he's got a new coffee machine. And if you don't remember, I got him a coffee machine for his 30th. And it turns out this coffee machine is better than the one that I got him for his 30th. And I'm like, trying not to let my pride get in the way of him having his good coffee. So I, yeah, I'm, it's really good coffee though. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight we are decorating the tree in the basement. I saved that one tree so that we could do it together because he loves Christmas just as much as I do and I thought we should at least do one of them together even though he was away in Saudi Arabia. So that's the plan of action. I'm also gonna do my nighttime skincare with you this evening because that's a run through that we need to do and I'm gonna tell you about. But yes, I'm gonna get changed, head in my car and I will update you when I come out of reflexology. I have just got back. I feel like I left as one person and I returned home as another person. I was very, 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 very stressed earlier. Just been a lot of work on it. It's why I didn't really start my vlog earlier. It's why I find it so hard, like during vlogmas, not that it's like the hardest thing because I choose to do it, but when I'm like shooting things, I just, I can't vlog at the same time because like my mind just has to be in shooting and I just got so stressed today so stressed and it like feels like my head is like ah and I arrived there and I like offloaded on tail like this is how I'm feeling blah, 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 blah. and then I'm just like and I did that thing where I snore and wake myself up which is just so embarrassing but I booked in three more sessions and I never like to mention a place where I'm going especially obviously if I'm like pagan they have no idea who I am or what I am or what I do not that I'm like the big I am or anything but I did check if I could like mention them because I'm just a paying customer. But I go to Spring Reflexology in Milton Keynes and she's really good. I get a hot water bottle. I go there in my comfy clothes and I'm not even someone that likes having their feet touched at all. Like in massages, I actually ask them not to touch my feet, but that's usually because of the way that they do it. Like the way that she does it is just, I don't know how she does it, but it's amazing. It's really weird. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, to kind of update you, Ali came home last night and we had dinner together and he walked into the house and he said it looked amazing. So we're gonna finish everything off today. I'm gonna hopefully try and get him to help me do the garland on the second set of stairways so we can get that up as well. And we're gonna do the Christmas tree together downstairs. He's also vlogging today, which is lovely for him. So this bit of the vlog will probably go out in his vlog anyway, but that's the perils of having a household of vloggers. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go inside and have some dinner before we get, excuse me, to work. <laughs> Can we just check out these two Christmas fairies working away on their laptops? You're so zen, I'm surprised you've not got Christmas music playing. Really yeah, the music that you make coffee to. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided halfway through decorating the trees with Carrie on the first day of Vlogmas, no second day of Vlogmas, that I'd save one of the trees for Ali and I because obviously we love Christmas and he's now home but he is vlogging this for his channel and he is already here in the big cinema mall room that we never use. Ali's just been telling them how we don't duplicate content. This is going out before mine anyway, so you win. But what I'm saying is this tree is our tree that we have because we have our New Year's Eve party down here. Like we have all of our friends here and everyone gets drunk and we play board games and it's just such a great way to spend New Year's. So this is our New Year's Christmas tree. Christmas tree is 99.999% finished. But we realize that we don't actually have a tree topper. So I've ordered one now and it should arrive tomorrow. But not bad for 20 minutes work. No, it's not. Lots of lovely little decorations. Ali put these little, little guys they're kissing. This one's Bert, and this one's Ernie. No, he's not. Yes, it is. It's 
Bert and Annie. I am very much loving having Mr. Mill and Gordon's help. He's going to put together the two garlands whilst I go and do my skincare routine. So, I'm in my bathroom and that usually means we're gonna go through some skincare. And I know I mentioned it in my last, I think it was one of my last vlogs before I started Vlogmas, I was saying how I'd taken my skincare back to my baseline and if anyone has been around these waters for a while they will remember when I was back at my old house I asked a load of you guys on Twitter to recommend me some products to get from Cult Beauty and I picked those products up and instantly they became my baseline and so successful was that that Cult Beauty have had me put my little edit of skincare, my baseline products together as a little edit, as a box, and I've released it, I think three times before now? Well, I can finally let you know, which is really exciting, and I know that lots of you have been messaging me, oh my goodness, about this box. My first original glow box was always by far my most successful, and I'm so excited to be able to bring you it for the fourth time. The fourth time like literally that's insane it's had a little bit of an update there are some amazing updates though and also products that i literally i couldn't have done this box without i need to put some on now because i've worn eyeshadow today if you haven't noticed and you guys know that my eyes always pay the price when i wear eyeshadow so i need to get some lano on my lids but i have lots to tell you about this so first of all i'm going to show you the box now I wanted to kind of do this box so that if like boyfriends or mums or daughters or best friends wanted to get this for like their person, all they would have to do is stick like a really beautiful like ivory coloured bow on the box and it can just sit under the Christmas tree and just look pretty. That was like kind of the aim. So. I have to apologise because this has been sat down here and I have taken products out of it and Lumi does jump all over everything but the fourth edition of the original Cold Beauty Lydia Lee Smillen Glow Box is here just in time for Christmas. So I'm going to go through it with you and I'm going to kind of let you know the update of products. Now I've already cracked open some of them but we're doing it slightly differently this year and I really hope that you appreciate because I've really pushed for this. Now, you can, on your own kind of accord, sign up to the wait list and be the first to kind of like shop it and that's how it's always been but you will be able to shop the box as well. However, if you do sign up to the wait list, you get a full size box of Lano. This is my essential we use it for everything. Ali uses it for everything. It's like, I've told you before, I call, call this my eczema eraser. So you get this free. So not only do you get the amazing savings that I will get to on the box, but if you sign up to the waitlist, you get another little free product. It's not little at all. This is the size of it. It's already on my um, thing. This is my new one that I've opened from here because I've run out. I always run out. I always have this everywhere with me and I can't stress to you how amazing it is. Like if we burn ourselves, we put Lano on it. If we've got eczema, we put Lano on it. If I overdo it with retinol, I put Lano on it. If I have any kind of irritation, like something is rubbed, I put Lano on it. It is incredible. So to be able to include this in the original glow box is essential. You can use it all over your face if you want to. I do. If I have one of those days when I feel like I need something super nourishing, I will put this all over my face. It feels amazing. Some people don't like really thick moisturizers and that is something that I'm going to get to in this box. I don't want to like jabber on too much because I, you know when you're so excited by something and I love every single product in this box so much that I could talk about them forever. So anyway, let's get in. So a little bit of an update. So we've got the black with the gold writing, which was, you know what, we were actually supposed to do one last year, but it never actually happened and I designed it with black and gold. So I wanted to do that again. Box, it's got the little sleevey sleeve. So you open it up and, <gasps> such a geek. Girl, she's in the leaflet. A little bit of a blurb about me. I can't believe that we're relaunching the original glow box for the fourth time after its incredible success. But I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> um, okay, so we have Luna, which this one is full. I have Luna 
on my vanity now. I'm using it at the moment because I've taken my skincare back. So I'm not using any like harsh retinols all over my face at the moment. I will still use them on the spot, but I'm just taking things back and using the softer retinol that I know agrees with my skin, helps exfoliate, still helps remove any scarring that I've had because I've had some problem skin recently. It's been hormone related. So I'm trying to really kind of clear it up and get it back to its best. This product, it's a holy grail product for loads of people. It's expensive as hell, but it works. So that is back in the box. Then we have the Alpha H Liquid Gold. I literally have every single person in my family on this product. It was the first ever glycolic acid I ever used and it is still to this day my absolute favourite and it's a game changer. It completely transforms your skin. I've got my sister-in-law on it, I've got Carrie on it, I've got my stepmom on it, I've got my Ali's cousin's mum, Ali's auntie on it. I've literally got everyone on it. Okay, it's amazing and I know that so many of you discovered this product through um, this box so I'm excited to obviously include this again and it's a game changer. Like literally I have this. I'm not supposed to show you this but I stock up so much that I actually have like the old bottle still as well but don't hate me. I just, I stock up because I love it. Alpha H sent this to me because they were like, we see that you have the old one and I was like, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I've still got it. I, I keep so much of that in stock and it's my baseline. It is so good. Then obviously we have the Amora Vita cleansing foam cleanser. This is the cleanser because I like to change up my cleanser sometimes, but this is the cleanser when my skin goes, Whoa! I'm like, get me the Amora Vita because it's just so gentle, leaves my skin clean, makes everything just feel squeaky but hydrated but good it's just again i'm not just i have so much stuff on here because i constantly pick and change my skincare for the day but i i have everything in this box ready to hand when my skin needs it and i'm using this one at the moment it's literally got my makeup on it this is a full box so i'm not just like a, this is my one that i have <laughs> oh i found another luna as well i literally have so many of them i so that's the cleanser, game changer, I love it. Such a good product. If you have sensitive skin, it's just gentle because I can't use like balm cleansers, I can't really use cream cleansers. So I have to use um, something that really kind of gets in and cleans, but I'm also quite sensitive. So I need to not be using anything too harsh basically. So that is amazing. Then we have the glow up. Like this is the illuminating moisturizer with diamond dust for all my bougie babes. <laughs> <laughs> this is just beautiful and such a hydrating but illuminating moisturizer but this is a moisturizer that I use for the glow I understand that your kind of go-to moisturizer that's why it's, there's not one in here like a real rich nourishing one that's a personal thing so I understand that this is something that I would probably put on after I've used a really rich nourishing moisturizer that suits my skin type and then this one to just make that skin glow like diamonds. It's stunning and such a great one if you don't like wearing a lot of makeup because it just gives your skin this beautiful like radiance. I love it. Then we have, but now we're offering all four shades. It's the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. The product that has been in my beauty bag, my makeup bag, my handbag, any bag, it's always there. I have lovingly used this product and By Terry themselves say that I put this product on the map and nobody was using it and then I was talking about it and then everybody was using it and I love it and I see people using it and I'm like, hi! <laughs> I don't ever not use this product. If I'm going makeup free, I will be wearing this. If I'm wearing foundation, like even now, I will mix this in because I always need more glow. I like what it does to my foundation. If I wanna wear something thicker, I can kind of tailor make it using this and I just, I just never ever stop using it. And again, I have everyone in my family using this. It's beautiful but now we are offering all four shades so you can pick whichever one is best to suit your shade and yay and this is obviously another expensive one like I think um if I remember rightly like these two products are basically the price of the box 
which is well, very close anyway, which is insane. So actually you get all of that. There's still one more as well. The price of these two together basically is what it would cost, but instead you're getting all of this and it's amazing. But the final one, I feel like I've not stop talking about this product and it would have been weird for this not to be in the box so it's it's a new addition but i hope you i mean i wonder if any of you guess that this product is in here but this face mist it's beautiful like i've never really described a face mist in the same way that i describe this one it is beautiful it is the rose and neroli face mist from audacity Audacity is a brand I don't really know a lot about, but I know that this face mist is insane. It's gorgeous. I take it everywhere with me. If I'm using retinol and I'm like going through the day and my face gets tight, I can spritz it on and straight away my face just becomes, it becomes hydrated and supple and I can move it again because when you retinol a lot, you can sometimes get tight face. I use it on flights, I use it in the summer, I use it in the winter, I keep it in the side of my bed, in my bedside table. It's stunning. It smells amazing. Rose and Neroli are two of my favorite pure elements, I guess, because this is pure elements. But I just, I love it. And I, it would have been weird for this box to not include this. So I hope that you understand why this is in here. And yeah. So this evening, I'm gonna do my skincare with you and I'm going to do the nighttime kind of side of things and show you how I am doing my skincare at the moment, how I'm taking it back to my baseline. I might not have time tomorrow to do my morning one with you, but I'll obviously tell you, but I'll use, I mean, you know, you've seen me do this before on my channel, but this is just so exciting. Just to remind you that you don't get the free Lano cream unless you sign up to the wait list. But I do think that this is one of the most kind of essential skincare secret weapon product so I hope that you do sign up and I hope that you enjoy this product because even though it's not like a, a resurfacer it's like a skin saviour and I, I love it so I'll pop the waitlist in the description box down below if you do want to sign up and you want to get another free product I mean it's free so I hope that that's an incentive enough but it's a great product with the waitlist you will also have a six hour window to shop the box before anyone else. So that's a lot shorter than last time. Like obviously last time you could only shop it via the waitlist. However, I do want to remind you, this is not me tooting my own horn here, but the box usually sells out. I mean, I think the first time it sold out within two and a half hours. So that's just to let you know, because I don't want you to be disappointed. I know how many people were disappointed the first time and I don't want that to happen again. So I'm hoping that I can kind of tell you all of the details and we can avoid that. But yeah, the wait list is in the description box down below and you can sign up there. Please ignore the fact that I have a black bra on with a white top, okay? But I only wear comfy clothes when I go to reflexology and I certainly don't care about what color bra I'm wearing. Just know that my underwear matches and it's all lovely, 100% silk from Intimissimi. So popping my hair up in a silk scrunchie. How cute is it that I can now have my hair in a ponytail again? So happy about that, I miss my little ponytails. Right, let's get into it. literally saturate the whole cotton pad. And I swipe it all over. And I usually just leave that for a little bit to do its thing. Whilst it does its thing, I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids because it is the only thing that allows me to wear eyeshadow because as soon as it flares up, because this, this hasn't been flared up, but I put eyeshadow on today because I was shooting. So as soon as I do that, it flares up in the corners. So then I just pop a nice indulgent layer of this on my eyes, wherever I've got any like 
dry skin. If I really want to be over the top, I use it all over my face. That's when I really want to get some hy hydration in. Then I'm gonna go in with my Luna. Is that what I'm going in with? Yes. And I just tend to use a whole pipette. You don't, now the Alpha H and the Luna together is quite harsh. I'm not telling anyone to do that together. I've just been using this for such a long time that I've got my skin kind of conditioned to this little routine. But I would probably say, use like the Alpha H for the first time and then leave it a couple of days and then maybe use the Luna and kind of just see what works for your skin. That is probably the best option. And I massage that in like so. And the good thing about Luna is, is you don't have any downtime, even though it's a retinol, it, your skin isn't peeling off your face. I get a very minimal tightness when I use this. So it's really great for making your skin glow, but still being like able to function as a human because sometimes with retinols it's not that great and then I let that do its thing I kind of will brush my teeth organize here put everything away and then I will give myself a spritz of the audacity where is that I have one open somewhere I told you I've always got one somewhere this one was in the drawer by the side of my bed so but I'm not going to put this on now but I will usually spritz it on just to get some more hydration in there and I just love the way that it feels. I'm just, that's, that's all I have to say about it. Now you can kind of use your own eye cream of choice. This is a baseline so that you can add the products that you love to it as well, but still see amazing results. So I will put an eye cream on and probably a lip balm as well and then just go to bed. I don't do too much, I think. I think I'm quite tame with my skincare. But yeah, looking good. So this is the full contents of this year's The Box by Lydia Elise Millen with Cult Beauty. And um, obviously the Lano you only get free if you sign up to the waiting list. And the waiting list gives you an exclusive link to shop the box. The price of the box is £304.50, but there's a saving of 44%. So the price you pay is 170 but please do remember that this is only included if you sign up. So the sign up link will be in the description box down below. But just to give you an idea, the By Terry CC Serum is 61 pounds. The Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer is 74 pounds. I think Luna is around 45 pounds. And then this is 39 pounds. So like three of these products will um, almost cover the entire cost of the box that you're getting. All of this, essentially free. <laughs> So anyway, I am going to get my pyjamas on, I'm going to brush my teeth, and I'm going to get into bed. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh, look at this. Blooming lovely. accidentally bought the original flavour of this. Ho! Oh, savage. Tastes like a shot of chicken soup. It's kind of gone off. Good morning. Oh no, I've already said good morning to you. Sorry. <laughs> we did vitamins together this morning. I am getting ready in my dressing room, which actually looks like a bomb's hit it because there's boxes everywhere, there's clothes everywhere because I'm packing. I've just put the Tata Harper. I always read the French side and I'm like, oh God, what is it? But it's the illuminating moisturizer on my face. This is all a different batch, by the way. I have the same stuff but a different batch upstairs. So that if I ever forget to do any of like my skincare, I've got another load up here. More of the Audacity Rose and Neroli one, although this one's nearly empty, just to spritz onto my face, but I usually do it over makeup as well. Just to give me a little bit of a wake up. I'm not doing my makeup with you today. Oh my gosh, there is like so many makeup videos on my Instagram at the moment. If you wanna go and see me do my makeup, you can see me do it over there. But it's the most gorgeous sunny day today. Oh. So nice, and this weekend is supposed to be really good. Today I'm actually packing to go to Port Limpney. I think that's how you say it. I don't quote me on that. We are taking Carrie away for her 30th birthday. We're taking her there because there's like a safari. It's like a conservation. They've got like their own breeding program, so they keep like African animals and all of those things, and they breed them and then they release them into the wild. And but you can go and do safari, and the whole thing is like a hotel. We went there a couple of years ago with Origins, and it was amazing 
amazing and we loved it. So we booked the same thing, which is like a tree house, which has two bedrooms. And we're gonna go and stay there with, it's gonna be me, Ali, Carrie and her boyfriend. And we're just gonna have a chilled weekend at Port Limpney and I'm really excited about it. So that's what we're doing, but that'll be in my next vlog. Today we're just getting ready to go. So I'm gonna pop some of the By Terry CC serum on my face, which does come in my box. All of these products coming in my box. So that will be linked down below because you would have watched me do my skincare routine. But just putting, my face always goes really red when I touch it and apply a product and it looks weird but it calms down very quickly, okay? It makes my, what I'm putting on my face look darker than the rest of my body, but it's just because my skin is weird and goes really red when I touch it. So yeah, looking a little bit punky pink. <laughs> you can hear Ali rattling away because he's packing as well. You excited, babe? Very. I'm very excited. Huh? I like lots of animals. Yeah, lots of animals. Lots and lots of animals. Anyway. I'm putting a light Laura Mercier base on today because we are obviously going away and, you know, just trying to look fresh and I've not got to do any shoots or anything like that that I don't want to. So just going fresh base, a little bit of tinted moisturizer to see me through the day, a little bit of concealer, you know the deal. So I'm gonna get ready for chatting to you guys. I've got some boxes that arrived yesterday. My other Louisa Viaroma order finally arrived and also looks like I've got a surprise box from Jimmy Choo. So I thought we could open that together and have a look at what's inside. So I'm gonna get ready just so I can relax and chill and know that I'm all packed to go and then we'll chat, okay? Okay. Right, let's get into these boxes. I'm gonna get into the Jimmy Choo one first just because I had a little peek inside. So there's two boxes in here. So first up we have this box from Jimmy Choo. And this says it is the Hawaii style and it's a size 38. Oh, cute. Oh, wow, sneaks. And they've got little stars on them. Oh, I like these. And they've got a really good heel on them as well. So they give you a little bit of a platform without actually being a platform. I really like those. Oh, and look at the bottom. Really like those. Add to my trainer collection, and then we have a slightly bigger box. And the funny thing is, I've actually got another pair of Jimmy Choo's in my order from Louise Vierone. So it's a Jimmy Choo haul today. Right, this is a much bigger box. In here, these are surprises, by the way. These have been sent to me by the brand. I don't know what these are. They just kind of arrived. Oh, nice. Oh, I like those. Good tread on them. Some little sort of calf height leather military biker boot. No, these are more biker boots. Nice. I love how chunky they are as well. They're very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, thank you so much, Jimmy Choo. I do love those. In fact, I might take those boots with me on my trip because they'll be good for the trip. I will pop all of these on as well at some point and show you, but because I'm getting ready to go, I uh, can't show you right now, but I will record it so I can go at the end of this video. Okay. So this is an order that I made from Louisa Viaroma with my vouchers. And as I said, inside is another pair of Jimmy Cheese because I'm a fan. Actually, these are, I'm just gonna get them out straight away. These are the black version of my nude ones that I love and wear so much. I did go half the size up in these because my nude ones are a little tiny weeny bit too small, but they're still wearable. So I decided to go and get myself the black pair because I think these will be so handy around Christmas and wearing with like tights and stuff like that. But this little decorative band is just so beautiful. So I wanted to add these to my collection as well. I love the nude ones. I'll link them both down below as well because they're a bit special. And then I only ordered something that I might wear for New Year's depending on how it fits. I did get it in a size four though. So, and I know I can never tell with size fours or size sixes in high end stuff, but this is basically a like diamante black play suit. I think it's gonna fit, you know. Ooh, cute. This is from a brand called Giuseppe Di Morabito, and it's got like puff sleeves, really cute like diamond choker around your neck. 
just super smart but can be worn with tights so that you're still warm and also really nice and fitted as well so i'll try that on for you as well so that you can see but i'm actually really excited about this because i think this will be so nice for just parties and events and things like that so I've, i was very happy to see that on there i'll link it down below but i'll also show you it on right i can sort out all of my rubbish when i get back as promised i wanted to quickly show you the shoes on i'm sorry i didn't have time before but at least you're getting to see them on so these are the black versions of my nude ones obviously i don't think that as sad as it is because they look amazing i don't think i'd be able to wear these with tights unless anyone knows of like a secret way to keep slingbacks like this on your feet because look how cute they look with tights it just looks like this beautiful little strap going across and it looks really sort of seamless and then a little flash of of the patent it would be really really cute for this time of year so i thought i'd show you them on but yeah let me know if you have any secret hacks for keeping shoes like these on because i would really really like to be able to wear them with tights especially during christmas because so festive so yeah i'll link these ones down below they also come in nude so i will link them down below as well my nude ones are downstairs at the moment because i wore them recently so i'll show you the other ones on as well i thought i'd show you me getting these on because these are slip-on boots and i always wonder because i've got such a high arch oh oh no they're good they're a good fit oh i actually really like these they're not a style of boot that i would have normally like thought of but I really like them. They're like biker boots. These in summer as well. These are the kind of boots that I would go for for like a great boot at this time of year. I think I'll loosen this though. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, they're a great boot for this time of year. Just super chunky and it means that your foot isn't like on the on the ground so they stay a lot warmer when you've got a thicker sole at this time of year but then in summer with a cute dress these would look adorable let me put the other one on they are so cute i love them oh such a great boot to have and so chunky i love it when it contrasts like wearing boots and dresses is my vibe i just love the way that it looks. It just really sort of gives it a bit of a dress down, tomboy edge, nothing too pretty or dressed up. I've got a ponytail in today because I can't bother to do my hair, but really, really, really happy with those. Thank you so much, Jimmy Chi, for sending me these. Honestly, that is just the dream and they work so well in my wardrobe as well. Also, I don't actually have like flat boots with gold detailing on them and the gold detailing looks like it goes really well with this bag. This makes me very happy. Oh my God, it does. It's a perfect match. <gasps> this is too cute. And then these are the trainers, which are a perfect fit, but also so happy that they've got a thicker sole. And I love this little black label because actually, even with tights, they look so cute. Oh, I love them. Oh, that's such a great delivery of Jimmy Choo's. I'm so happy with them and they just feel super comfortable as well. These are the kind of things that I would like travel in as well and wear with like black jeans and like a biker jacket and a hoodie and just sort of like dressed down casual, I think, but I just love trainers. As you can see, I love trainers. There's more trainers elsewhere. Oh, more trainers at the back down there. So I do love me some trainers. We definitely have to do a shoe collection because I can't believe how much you guys enjoyed my handbag collection. If I'd known, I would have done that so much sooner, but yeah. So that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Please don't forget that all of the details about my cult beauty box are in the description box down below and I'm really, really, really hoping that you are as excited as I am for it.